Let's step back and uh, talk about Nyasanet for a while. Sure. It's probably a fair statement to say that you're probably one of the most vilified. Absolutely. Most unliked. Absolutely. And mostly understood <laughs> contributor on Nyasanet. Yeah. Why do you think that is the case? Why is everybody else against you? Well, uh, not everybody else, but, but a good a good, a good a number good of uh, vocal vociferous people. Yes. Well, you know what? Uh, f for starters, I think that uh, a lot of the people who vilify me are duplicates of each other. I think I have noted on, on, on several occasions that the same person has written as this name and then the other name and then the third name and all of that he creates several names to give the impression that I'm universally disliked and vilified. How, also, how, how do you know that? How do you know that? Do you have the IP addresses? How, how do you figure that out? Well, I didn't figure it myself. What I did is I asked a friend who is a sort of a computer person. I am not a computer person. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't have the... But, but I can tell from maybe writing style and, and some of the themes that keep recurring that they are coming usually from the same people. Uh, now, I don't want to pretend that that there's only one person who is multiplying himself and vilifying me. Of course, there's a, there's a pretty good uh, number out, of the, out there. But, um, you know, I, I shrug that off because I, I think that it's healthy for people to, to speak their mind and disagree, even disagree strongly, which happens quite a lot. And um, I, I defend a cause that is, it's fair to say, unpopular on Nyasenet. I think that Nyasenet by and large, has never been a friend of the UDF and has never been a friend of Bakiri Muruzi. And I tend to, to back those two entities. And naturally, that, that, that you know, brings lots of... I have, I have a, a target on, on my back and on my forehead. It brings a lot of shots at me. But, you know, what are we going to do? Well, that's, that's, that's what we have to accept. That it's, it, this is a new era. It's no longer the, di the dictatorship. And people have to accept that no, people will not always have the same ideas. And I don't have the same ideas as the majority of the people on Yasset. And, you know, they, they either convince me or I convince them. Uh, but I haven't convinced too many. However, and has anybody ever convinced you? <laughs> you know what, I think that the human is by nature um, rebellious when faced with what it perceives as unfair attack. And you, you become defensive and I think you, 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 you become more difficult to convince. If you're like me, when you feel that people are just ganging up on you, it makes you more stubborn, which, which is precisely my situation. I, I think uh, the, the very well-known uh, opponents that I have on character stand a very little chance of ever convincing me because I kind of wrote them off as, as people who don't have anything kind or nice to say to me or about me. So why should I give them the time of day, really, you know? So that's the byproduct of disagreeing disagreeably. I think if, if we on Yasnet learned to debate professionally without getting into all kinds of nonsense, we might actually convince each other. But unfortunately, it very rapidly turns to finger pointing of the most vicious kind. And I think that in that kind of atmosphere, you don't convince anyone. You, you, you just, it just becomes a sort of one-upmanship. Who can insult the other better? Who can insult the other more? And I think that's a waste of a resource because Nyasnet has been the connector of of the Malawi diaspora, and I think it's a huge loss that this kind of debating, quote-unquote debating, I don't even like calling it debating, but this kind of thing is what has crept on, and I think it's a real pity, it's, it's sad. Sometimes from reading your postings, it seems like you actually enjoy irritating people, you enjoy <laughs> rubbing people the wrong way. Is that a fair assessment? It is, because I, I, I think that um, I have been on that forum long enough to know that there are certain people that will... It's like the table is laid. I, I kind of know what, what some people think, and I know what they think of me, and I know what they think of the UDF, and I know what they think of Muzi. And sometimes it just is, is a lot of fun 
to, to, to put something in their face. You know, if, if, if Mulusi wins a victory, for example, he wins a court case, I find it's kind of fun sometimes to, 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 to sort of wave it in their, in their face under their nose. I know that sounds really uh, aggressive, but the thing is, is that I've been on that forum so long that um, I kind of know the people I'm dealing with. They've done, they've done much worse to me, much, much worse. And, and so I, I don't feel like I owe them much in terms of courtesy <laughs> or anything. And, they, and, and um, you know, the feeling is mutual. But if there's a person on Nyasanet that has been insulted, vilified, that has been maligned, that has had stories created about him viciously, well, that's me. There's nobody else on Nyasanet that has suffered as much as I have suffered on the, on the forum. So I kind of tend to think that I also am entitled from time to time to you know, to, to, to um, pass a few rotten rats under the noses of one or two individuals. Well, um, I certainly I am a Mluzi supporter. I realize and I accept that that, that that is a factor in my defense of him sometimes even when he is wrong and, I, and, and, and that when the UTF sometimes has done something wrong, I'm ready to defend it. That is not the way things should be. Uh, that is where they have reached because similarly, there are some people who will never give credit whatsoever to Mulusi for the things he did. They will never give credit to the UDF for the things it did. And they will exaggerate the smallest things, and they will never stop criticizing. They will never say one kind word about Mulusi. They will never say one uh, positive thing about the UDF. If, if I sometimes sound sort of intransigent and, and, uh, and so on, is to respond to a similar kind of intransigence on the other side. But when the debate is civilized, when the, when, the, when the exchanges are devoid of insults and put-downs, I'm quite ready to, to admit that the UDF should not have sold maize to Kenya. The UDF should not have had a third-term debate, although I want to say that the, the, the open-terms debate was a legitimate debate. I'm ready to uh, say that the UDF didn't do enough to instill a sense of financial discipline in the running of government. I'm ready to accept those things. That's in the context of a nice, polite exchange where people are really genuinely interested in, the, in, in exchanging ideas objectively about their country. It's not what I get from the other side. For, for the other side, the UDF is, is uh, a bunch of thieves, they call them. Uh, Bakiri Muruzi is basically the devil incarnate, okay, and has never done anything good. Now, imagine somebody was elected president twice consecutively. Uh, somebody still commands a huge following today in Malawi and is regarded by the general public with a lot of fa affection. How can anybody say that this person is completely useless and the devil incarnate and a horrible person? There, there, there must be something good about him, you know? I mean, fine, there, every person has weaknesses, but, you know, if you read some of what, what, what's written on Yasnet about Bakir Muz, you'd think he's straight from, from, from Hades, okay? And that's just not fair, you know? Let's have, if we can have debates which are truly objective and that, that really examine the record as it is, and the record exists, and some people want to pretend the record doesn't exist, and this is what I fight, this is what I argue against. Do you think Malawi needs a uh, unity government?